They say every dog has its day. If that's the case, Scooter's day is today, when she officially retires as an accelerant detection canine from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Scooter is a yellow Labrador retriever who was actually born in Mexico and received obedience training in the Puppies Behind Bars program at a correctional center in New Jersey. She was selected by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives to become an accelerant detecting canine. She always puts her head up on the console and, and looks out the window with me uh, in the kennel. So just a really, really laid back, calm, calm dog. Her handler and partner, Special Agent Mike Zimmerman, said he could tell right away when they were matched by the ATF that their personalities were very similar. When I first seen Scooter uh, in the kennels, all the other dogs were going crazy in the kennels, but Scooter was just sitting there looking through the through the uh, the door of the kennel there, and I thought, yeah, me and her is going to be perfect, and it wound up me and her was, <laughs> was paired. So <laughs> Scooter had already had intense training on her own, including odor recognition and field and vehicle searches. But once she and Mike were paired, the two trained together for several more weeks and have continued to train ever since that day. Scooter and the other arson dogs use a food reward method where the dogs eat when they find the target odors that they're trained to alert to. So that could mean 50 to 75 alerts per day in order to consume three cups of food per day. Hi. Unlike some working dogs, arson canines like Scooter work great with people and sometimes have to mingle within crowds at scenes. Scooter is very gentle and loves kids, but when it's time to work, she's ready. It's like a, a switch. She, she knows when it's time to work, and you can, you can see her get into that mode uh, as we pull up. And it's just, it's been unbelievable just to watch her, you know, ever since we've been paired up. Just, it's amazing every time we go on a scene. Uh, just how she reacts to it. Mike says he's proud of the work he and Scooter have done together in the past five years, but says one case in Lawrence County in particular stands out. Uh, it was a fatality, but turned out to be a homicide. And we worked on that uh, with other agents for quite a while and uh, ran her through and got some positive alerts and was able to to bring justice to that family. Right now at the ripe old age of seven years, or is it 49 years, it's Scooter's time to retire. Because of the chemicals the dogs are exposed to, it seems, and even in training, the ATF limits their working period to five years of active duty. But while Scooter may be leaving the TBI, she won't be leaving Mike and his family, and there are their two dogs. She's going to get to be a normal pet. We'll get to eat out of regular food bowls and can continue to play with the other two family dogs. Mixed emotions. Um, it, it's going to be different not having her with me every day. Although she won't be working anymore, Mike plans to still keep Scooter active with her training so she stays alert. While it's likely that Scooter will slide right into a life of retirement, Mike is a little less clear on how her retirement will affect him. It's going to be interesting to go back to that, uh, you know, role as just just me on a, on a fire scene now and having to call somebody else for a, for a canine. So while Scooter will be retired, Mike will continue to work investigations and crime scenes, perhaps with a little less dog hair. With the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm Susan Nyland. <laughs>